I welcome you all, my dear students, in this video lecture on transformation. We are already talking about the bacterial gene transfer. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the conjugation system. And this lecture, we'll have an idea about the transformation system in bacteria, how gene is transferred in bacteria. So, in this transformation part, basically, we need to know the what is the transformation. Transformation, if you say its definition, is transformation refers to the transfer of relatively small segment of naked DNA. Okay, so naked DNA or naked DNA from donor cell. Donor cell means here the source is considered the male to competent recipient here is the female cell so this is nothing but the transformation so transformation means that you are transferring you are transferring small amount of naked dna naked dna means uh, without the nuclear membrane or cell membrane is the open dna naked dna from donor male to female okay so if you consider the history, we already studied about this transformation in our school days also in the board exam, the Griffith experiment, the famous Griffith experiment, who discovered this in streptococcus pneumonia, which causes pneumonia in human and mice. Actually, Griffith did the ex transformation experiment first and discovered in 1920. It is very much important for MCQ. So now, in very brief, the Griffith experiment. So if you want to explain the transformation in bacterial cell or bacterial gene transfer, so you have, you have to must explain the Griffith experiment so that this transformation can be explained properly so first of all a few things you need to know there are two type of bacterial strain one is the r2 r2 strain is the non pathogenic means it's not harmful and it produces rough colony formation mutant strain so this is the r2 type strain bacterial strain did not cause death to mice so because R2 strain is the non-pathogenic bacterial strain, non-pathogenic, that's why there is no chance of my state. Whereas the another strain is S3 type strain. S3 type strain is called virulent. This virulent cause death to mice. Okay, so this is very important thing. So there are two types of bacterial strain. One is R2 is having non-pathogenic genes and S3 having the virulent or uh, pathogenic gene. Okay. So, but interestingly, if you heat, the heat killed S3 strain also showed similar result like that of R2 strain. So, that means if you killed the S3 strain by heat, so it will convert it into like the R2 strain means non-pathogenic. However, when heat kills its three strain was mixed with R2. This is a very important thing. So that means first of all, when the heat kill is three strain it was mixed with R2 strain and injected to my mice diet. So see. Individually, R2 is the non-harmful, S3 is harmful, but when you heat and kill the S3, it will become like the R2 type, means non-harmful, but this heat killed and non-harmful, if you mix it together and apply to the mice, the mice died. So that means this is something happening when you are mixing these two type of strain. So that means this induction in change of R2 strain was called transformation. That means when R2 strain comes with the 
connect of S3 strain due to induction or transformation, small amount of virulent gene is already inserted into the R2 strain. And that's why the mice died. So this is the all about the Griffith experiment. Okay. <clears throat> so later on, Avery MacLeod and McCurdy 1994 conducted the experiment and demonstrated the heat killed S3 strain transformed R2 strain into virulent form, which causes death of mice is already established. The transforming ability was not altered by treatment of S3 with enzymes or by RNAs, but was completely destroyed by DNAs. So I'll discuss it later on in the uh, picture. You can clearly understand. This finding showed the DNA has the ability to carry hereditary information. So now coming to the picture, if you see in the control, because these are the bacterial S type of bacteria, means the virul having the virulent genes. If you insert, inject in the mice, the mice died. Okay. But in case of if you inject the R type of bacteria, means the non-pathogenic bacteria in the mice, because R type of cell are benign, non-virulent non-malignant, they are benign, means very less harmful, non-harmful. So the mice is live. So again, if you control is the inject heat killed S3 type bacteria into mice. Once heat kills, I mean, that means the virulent gene becomes silent. The mice is also live. Okay. But once you inject the heat killed S along with R2 type. This R, this virulent gene is due to induction or transformation will insert it to R2 type and R2 type will be very harmful and the mice will be tired. So this is the all over is nothing but the uh, Griffith experiment and the transformation. So I hope you understand this video lecture. And the next is uh, later on the three uh, scientists who extended this experiment. They actually did the mixture of DNA and RNA with RNAs, treat with the RNA first. Mixture of DNA and RNA and treat with the RNAs. Once RNA is treated, there is only DNA remains and add this DNA to the R bacteria. R bacteria is the non-pathogenic bacteria on the LB media and then plate on the growth medium, LB medium. So there are colonies, that means the bacteria are alive. But in case of treated DNAs, then after DNA is, if you mix out the DNAs in the mixture of DNA and RNA, then DNA is go out, only RNA remains and add RNA to the bacteria. So RNA actually does not carry the gene. Means RNA is not the virulent product here. So that's why if you culture on the medium, there is no S transformants because no S type of transformers because only it indicates only DNA contain the virulent gene, not the RNA. If RNA contain the virulent gene, it might have uh, showed like the result like DNA here. Okay, so this is the overall transformation experiment in bacteria. Thank you for watching.